wherever you are. And hello, Facebook. This is uh, Ria Marta Lilgaard of the Superstar Seed. And today I'm going to talk to you about my favorite subject in the world, which is light languages. So we're going to talk about who, what they are, how to activate them, and uh, how you can actually use them day to day to enhance your life, perhaps enhance your business, and just basically to make this 3D adventure a lot easier, a lot more pleasurable. Because you see, light languages are a part of your galactic heritage. So this is what your soul still remembers from previous lifetime as a light being. Because a lot of you who are stasis, you have been once a light being. You have been perhaps a, an Arcturian or a Pleiadian or maybe a Syrian. Maybe you have been even a member of some dark races, but it doesn't matter. Your soul's history and your soul's heritage matter and it's all important and you can absolutely um, claim those gifts and utilize them day to day. So let me know if I'm uh, uh, audible and if I'm visible, if you can hear me, if you can see me. That will be great uh, if, 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 if I can get a confirmation so I'm not just here talking to myself. Uh, so if you are perhaps a starseed or if you think that you may be a starseed, let me know in the comments. That would be really great if you can, uh, if you can share that uh, with us. I'm here to help you. My soul's mission here is to activate star seeds. Yeah, awesome. Uh, I can see that uh, I'm definitely audible on the uh, on TikTok, which is fantastic. Uh, I'm just wondering whether Facebook has the same. <laughs> it's sometimes really difficult with all these uh, platforms and how um, how uh, how it kind of uh, all like you know I've got two mics here, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah, well, let me just double check. Facebook can hear me, and it's all good. And then I'm gonna dig straight into the light languages. So give me two seconds. Awesome. If I can be visible on Facebook. Oh yeah, yes, yes, yes. I'm definitely all good on Facebook <laughs> because there's comments here. A couple of Arcturians, us, including my uh, my husband. <laughs> yes, we are. Uh, we are both uh, Arcturian Stasis. Lately, I've uh, had this crazy idea uh, whether uh, maybe we should start communicating in other in our mother tongue, which is Arcturian. But uh, yeah, that would be an interesting thing. If you both speak the same language, why not? So <laughs> that's, that's, that's something to be tested. But anyway, uh, on the subject of light language, for those of you who have never heard what a light language is, let me know, raise your hand, and I'll explain a little bit about it. For a lot of you who know me and know my work, you have already uh, heard different light languages. And um, if that's the case, then uh, then obviously this some of this information will be all uh, like you know a review for you. Uh, yeah, I can see I'm a Syrian star seed and started here. And, also, I've been in Atlantis and watched the Vanish. Wow, that's some some interesting uh, people we've got here on TikTok and on, on 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 Facebook. Well, you know, before I even start explaining about about light languages, um, let me just get back to the basics of which kind of connects to what light languages are. So basically, light languages are languages of different beings of the light. Uh, so there are beings of light, uh, there are beings of darkness, it's like Star Wars, but there's also been civilizations here on Earth, such as Atlantis, mentioned by uh, one of the um, people here on TikTok, and such as the um, Lemuria. And you, as a soul, might have traveled to all these different lifetimes, and as such, your soul will remember the language. And um, for a lot of time, light languages have been so misunderstood and misused as well, because people naturally are afraid when they hear something and they don't understand. And I think that comes often with our own experiences here on Earth. For example, if um, I'm Polish originally, and um, I have 
um, husband who's Welsh and he speaks English and we live in Australia. So even if myself and let's say my two Polish friends meet, we make sure we communicate in English so my husband doesn't feel left out because it's rude to speak a foreign language when someone is around because they might be thinking, okay, what well, are they talking behind my back? And I think there's a little bit of light languages that the element is there where people don't understand, oh, what is it? I'm speaking something. Am I like, I'll give you an example. I've recorded some, I think Atlantean on uh, Facebook or Lemurian. No, I was on Lemurian, which is a really soft, beautiful language, really motherly. And someone asked, oh, what if she's cursing us all? Like, why would I have this intention? But this is the kind of core of why light languages are a little bit shunned. And I have been for a long time. And another thing is that you may have already a light language activated and you have no clue where it comes from. And this was me 15 years ago when my Arcturian language activated. I had no idea where it came from, as in like I knew where it activated, uh, but I didn't know what it is. I didn't know what this language meant. And also I've been told by then I was in a religious organization within a church that it's a gift to have the translation, which I call BS, because if you can get the light language, you absolutely also get the translation. It is not some special gift. It's not some separate thing. It is actually a part of your soul's memories. And uh, it's all up for you. It's not something that you need to deserve. It's not something you need to earn. This is your soul's memory. So go ahead and claim it and use it for common good. And why, why, why I say that you can use it for the good of other people? Well, because a lot of frequencies of different beings are very high vibrational. And I don't know if you agree, but we need some higher vibrations here on planet Earth. There's a lot of bad things going on. And a light language can be a tool to raise your own vibration and to raise vibration of, of others in your environment. So it's not just that um, it helps you, it helps other people too. So this is one of the reasons why it's good to get your light language activated. So you are... Um, absolutely capable of getting this soul's memory and this light language back. It's already sitting in you, you already have it. It's just about coaxing it out. And when I do light language activation, this is exactly what I'm doing. I'm coaxing them out. It's not that I am giving it to someone or my energy gives it to someone. No, absolutely not. It's something that every person already has inside of them and coming into contact with strong spiritual energy and especially the energy of those particular light beings this is what activates your light language and why it's good to activate light language there's a few other reasons perhaps you are a stasi who doesn't know what stasi you are or you've been told by someone that let's say you are pleiadian but you're not actually feeling it. Or you're like wondering, well, someone told me in a reading that I'm maybe Pleiadian or I'm Andromedan, but am I really? Well, your light language will tell you the truth. If you activate Andromedan light language, then 100% <laughs> you've had a lifetime as an Andromedan. Then it's a visible, audible rather, proof that this is it. There's no like second guessing, it's just what it is. And an interesting thing about light languages is that in my experience, and I've helped around, I would say, a few hundred people activate the light language, the one that activates first is usually one which is from their last galactic lifetime, which is the most familiar to them. And this is what happens. So at the same time, you straight away know where your galactic lifetime was. And how it works with star seeds is like someone said, you can travel in a lot of, through a lot of different um, lifetimes here on Earth, in the galaxy. I've gone to my Akashic records with, uh, with my husband uh, lately, and apparently I've lived something like over 600 lives and he lived over 400 lives so there's a lot of lives and uh, the ones in in the different dimensions are usually quite pleasant the ones here on earth not so much 
But anyway, you may remember quite a lot of different languages. That's why you can activate more than one. And this is the case with me. I currently have 12 different light languages at my disposal, but I feel like it's not necessary just because I was a part of every single civilization, because I speak certain light languages that my soul actually wasn't a part of that race. Andromedan is one of the examples. A uh, Lyran feline is one of the examples. I've never been a part of that race. So how do I do it? Well, basically, my soul's first incarnation was in the Akashic Records. And this is where I dealt with a lot of different beings from different uh, dimensions. And this is how I have probably the ability to speak more light languages than most. And this is also a part of my soul's mission here on earth and this is a reason why i'm here today talking about it because you see i see there is a lot of unconscious use of light language where people channel but they don't know what they channel people channel but they don't understand what they're saying and people don't even know what the light language origin is every single day in my mailbox or in my uh, messenger there is some light language sample where people are asking me do you know where it comes from? So in a way, I act like a galactic linguist and I try to trace those origins of the light language. So I do uh, I do that and I help. I don't know every light language out there, but I know quite a few and I can recognize the energetic signatures. And in that way, a person knows what they actually channel. So my soul's mission, and this is actually in my soul contract, why I came here is communication. And that's a very broad term. Light languages are just a part of it. But what I feel I want to do is to bring consciousness and bring awareness to the subject of light languages. So it's not just some airy fairy, I'm kind of speaking and I'm making those hand movements and I have no clue what I'm doing. Well, actually, when you know what you're doing, you can do something a lot stronger because you can use it intentionally you can use it to heal you can use it to raise vibration you can use it to recode recodify your energetic field whether it's for protection whether it's for uh, abundance whether it's for relationships anything you are literally wanting to do and specific light languages are good for specific things so Apart from the fact that any light language can be used as a transformational tool, certain light languages naturally already are so high in frequency that they, they're therapeutic for humans. And Arcturian is an example. Uh, or Pleiadian, which is full of light, is also an example. So I am more than happy uh, to answer any of the questions you may have about light languages. I can see there's some comments here on TikTok. Um, and I'm also happy to give you a couple of uh, examples of what light languages are. Uh, I will have a proper free class coming up. Uh, if you're on TikTok, the link is in my bio. If you go to my profile, you can follow it. If you're on Facebook, just comment and we will send you the link. Uh, but then I will be in more formal setting in a webinar room. I won't have this like, like a, you know, like those Chinese cats with a hand. That's what I'm doing with my head now. But down at the bottom is Facebook and here is TikTok song, just like that. So we'll be in a more comfortable, intimate uh, setting where you'll be able to ask questions and where I will do some activations. However, I'm more than happy to do a little activation for you today. If you want to request, yeah, Megan says, yes, example. So what light language do you want to hear? Or perhaps what, what you can do with light language is two things. You can either set an intention and you can use it in a conscious way where, okay, I'm going to cold now for, let's say, abundance or let's say for activating your divine mission and I can channel that. Or sometimes you can let it flow and then you get translation afterwards or you get an understanding of what was happening. So I'm happy to do either of you for you. Uh, if there's any star seeds of any particular race that want to hear their own light language, that's great because what happens is if you hear your light language, it sounds familiar. And when I first heard Syrian, which is one of my prominent lifetimes was on Sirius. When I first heard that language, it just felt like coming home. So if you have some kind of hesitations what your light language is, 
and you feel like perhaps if you hear it, it feels familiar, probably you're on the right track. Awesome. Uh, interesting question. So Syrians, please. I'll turn on Syrian. It's coming. Two seconds. Uh, called Divine Vision. Uh, we've done that. Um, we've done that uh, on a latest free class, and I hope we do something like that um, on the next coming class. Uh, Ranger says, "I would like to know if I'm a star." So check my other videos uh, on TikTok. There's loads telling about how to recognize if you're a star. Uh, someone says, "I think I had a lifetime in Lemuria, so I can do a little bit of Lemuria." Andromeda, please. Okay, I do three light languages, but before I do, I'll answer one question that comes here, which is, can I communicate with other races if I speak the language? Absolutely, but you know what? Most races are so evolved, you communicate with them mind to mind. So you don't even need light language to communicate with them. And that's another skill that as a star seed, you absolutely possess, or an earth seed, because let's not forget earth seeds, which are beautiful people whose consciousness has never been outside of this planet earth, whose consciousness originated here, so the only difference between starseed and earthseed is where your consciousness originated. So don't let's not think that as starseed with some exclusive club, we are all here for one mission to help this planet send Syrian, Syrian, Syrian. Okay. Uh, also, on a channel Syrian. I've had quite an interesting lifetime uh, on Syria, and I'm very, very connected with them. Uh, the beautiful, beautiful race, and um, they they be around me all the time. So I will channel some Syrian uh, and I'll channel it with the intention of activating your divine mission here because Syrians are championing us to get planet to ascension, to unify our consciousness. They've been with us for, for millennia and I'm really proud to have had a lifetime there as a soul. So uh, Syrian is very slow, like repetitive, etc. I've done it for a bit, so it kind of has a chance to um, to evolve. Okay, ready for some Syrian? Uh, just remember, listen with your heart and not with your uh, not with your ears. It's not about the sounds. Just soak it in like you would soak in a bath. So here comes the Syrian with the intention of activating your divine mission here on planet Earth. Are kera mare e daru ara a era kara a adesera bara u era kara ase era da ara shatera asa era kura amanare reda ara a era kura asa are ru ara asa eda ara a e akwara mana a era kusa ara bera adamena ura a Kira usa ada era ara mase era kura ada bare edara rea ara da edama era kura ara kea asare era kura mana a era tusara batare era kura ara dea amare edara are era o anamea ase era kura ame eda ara ma era kura aba a era dara ma ora sera ara kare era ara da. So let me translate what I was doing, just so you understand. Uh, apart from the divine mission, this was opening your heart. And what this transmission was, was to open your heart so you can follow your heart because your heart holds the key to your divine mission. So it's kind of, when you follow your heart, when you open your heart, you can't go wrong. So this is what the Syrian light language transmission did. So this is an example of how to use it with awareness, where you do it and you explain what light language it is and what it does. So there is no mistakes. Uh, so awesome. If you've had any sensations, uh, just let me know. Sometimes people do feel, sometimes they feel emotional, sometimes they feel sensations in the body, sometimes they feel nothing. It depends on the language and depends on the intention. Also, 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 awesome. Um, so Andromeda, we've got Lemuria. Definitely there's a few people who ask about FC to that about Lemuria. So I do Lemuria light language. Lemuria very often tells a story. Like last time I was doing um I was doing a, a workshop, like a full day advanced workshop on light languages. And uh, when I started giving example of Lemurian and Atlantean, both of these languages it felt quite sad because they told the story of how those continents 
demise than how they sunk, etc. Yeah, some people say emotional for sure, homesick. If you feel homesick, you probably have had a lifetime in Syria, on Sirius. Uh, Megan says, absolutely felt in my heart and heart tingling. Thank you. That's on Facebook. Thank you, Megan. Uh, saw bluefish swimming in a circle, felt the lower spine and forehead. That's interesting. So, you know, everybody did, uh, reacts to it slightly differently. But if you feel a little bit homesick, I always feel like that when I'm with Arcturians. I hang around Arcturians quite a lot. And every time, and sometimes more than other times, it feels like, oh, I just want to go there. But, you know, Remember one thing, Star Seeds is not some kind of club where you just be like, ah, oh, I just want to go home to my planet and feel safe. Come on, people, we were here put for a mission. We are not some kind of weaklings and some romantics like when I was like, oh, take me home, extraterrestrials. No, we're here. Home for this lifetime is Earth. Home for this lifetime is here. It's not where you came from as a soul your mission is here if you're a star seed you're on an important mission and the mission is not to be whinging it's not to be whining it's to do the work absolutely release all the trauma because we i'm not lying to you we're going through a rough patch here in 3d and i understand if you're having a hard time integrating if this world is getting a little bit under your skin absolutely understandable that's normal but at the same time it's also remember rather than just be like oh, i want to be taken home home is here but your soul family is championing you if you on tiktok or if you're on facebook if you go to my uh, webpage realofga.com or my husband's erinlazar.com there is a a free activation which is called my soul family which really activates your connection with your soul family and remember your soul family are cheering you on on this journey so you can have support so yes you are here on earth you're in this rough place with a lot of challenges but don't worry your galactic team are very strong they're here with you you may be aware of them or you may not be aware of them but they are available for you and that's another thing why life language is quite easy to do this connection between you and your soul family so yeah um some of i meditated with lemurian star star with Muriel's crystal morning, I had a play by play of each past lifetime. Yeah, I remember my husband first touching Lemurian crystal, it was like a barcode almost, and all these kind of memories started coming back. Uh, also, okay, I do a Lemurian light language. Let me have a smack up. And here comes Lemurian. This time I'm going to let it flow without any agenda, without any intention. I'm just going to give you a sample of Lemurian and let's see what comes up. Uh, one thing I know for sure is that there is more Lemurian and Atlantean star seeds than there is, um, uh, sorry, Earth seeds than there is star seeds, so it may well feel familiar. Word of warning, if you were a part of Atlantis, uh, Lemurian feels sometimes unpleasant. If you were part of both, it's okay. But if you also, you may feel quite upset because you may miss Lemuria, you might have been a part of the demise. So let's see what comes up. It's gonna come. Uh, Ilama <laughs> E mana atikia, e akura bane na maa, e si ama ane, e si ama ane, e si ama ane, e akuta mane ina masse ilama, e akuta mana ade e akua ade ama atama. So that is an example of uh, Lemurian. What I feel this was was a little bit telling the story that basically. Lemuria lives on and I was drawn to make this infinity sign with my hands sometimes that happens with light language when you just kind of channel and then you do those hand movements it's like your body language it's part of it and uh, this was like almost like okay this is the next chapter that's what it was saying you are continuing 
the story of Lemuria. If you're a Lemuria star seed, you are here on Earth to continue the story of Lemuria. You are here to continue the mission. So it's it's not a past history. It's not just nostalgia, but you are here and the Lemurian energy is with you. So uh, someone said, uh, just join with language just actually covered. I've covered Syrian so far and Lemurian. And I'm about to uh, shoot soon because I've got, I'm recording an episode of the podcast which will be coming up soon. Uh, but I will do one more light language example. I'm not sure what uh, guys what you want. Uh, if you have any requests, let me know and I'll do one more light language example. But before I do, remember I'm running free class next week. Uh, if you sign up, be a pleasure to uh, to do it live it will probably be running for between 60 and 90 minutes so we have a lot more time you can ask more questions and um i'll be doing some activations there as well uh and um we'll see how your online language can uh activate because i'll be explaining that as well okay can you please do syrian I've done Syrian. Uh, I've already done it this time, so I'm not going to do it Syrian again. Andromeda or Lyra? Okay. You know what? I love Andromedans, but I love Lyrans even more because Lyrans, Andromedans I've never been a part of, but I'm really good friends with them. But today I've got this wingy outfit, and some Lyrans are the wing creature, they're the avian Lyrans, and some Lyrans are the feline creatures. Uh, quite. Quite a like, kind of like, um, I would say great, like Tomcats, they, they, or top cats, they're great. They literally, they have, um, they're quite protective and they ha have their own terms. I love both of them, uh, but I'm, I've never been an Andromedan. I've never been a, a Lyran uh, feline, but I've been a Lyran avian. So I'm going to do so. But if anybody is, um, interested in more light language samples on TikTok, I think I've pretty much covered most languages that I speak. I speak some others that I don't speak publicly. Uh, Blue Avia is one of the examples because it's like, sounds weird. Uh, it sounds like bird chirps. And there's a few others which my guides have instructed me to keep to myself. But uh, Lyran absolutely is coming through. Uh, so uh, Lyran light language will be one of the last things I'll do on this live. But if you are interested in more, check my TikTok videos, check the on my bio in TikTok. There is also a link to my free class. You will learn a lot more there. So let's do a Lyran avian um, channeling. Not sure what's going to come through, but I'm going to translate after. So here comes Lyran. Avian. Ela mala kula bala ela ala ia dala ase ila kuala la mena na al lek la kasulu li alale e dalama alaka lek iulu kula kala mane nale ela lu ela isa ala ese ela kuala ela kuya mana a ne malo kula e dala e yasi amale etu ela kala be a dalama e neu a dala esi utu la kala mena na si ela le kula e daki ke ya kula ma ela ase ela ma. Eta, 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 a la hila, a la bella, a la kula, a la mane, e la la. Suyu, ai, ai, a kula, a la ke, a mana, e la kusa, la kala, e kalama, a la i, a la a, a le kala kasikula ma, a la eta, a la ma. So this was opening your heart again, but also your throat chakra, which is connected to your sense of expression. So uh, basically sometimes what blocks your light language is when you can't express yourself. So I would encourage you, light language or no light language, if you can ask yourself questions this week, what do I want to express? Is this somewhere which I'm blocking my own expression? So uh, this uh, liar and light language just opens this upper chakra for you. Awesome. Uh, thank you so much. There's a lot of questions, uh, a lot of questions that I still haven't had a chance to answer. I've got to shoot because, as I said, I've got a podcast guest uh, coming up and I need to prepare all the equipment. But it's been an absolute pleasure to uh, be here answering your questions. Uh, and if there is other some questions I haven't answered, I'll probably answer them in TikTok videos, and you probably also get the answers in my upcoming Light Languages class. If you haven't signed up yet, please do, um, and uh, I will see you there. Thank you so much for joining and co-creating this beautiful group with me. Thank you.